Well, hello everybody and welcome back to part 9 of the snow speeder build. Um, today we're going to actually connect some of the wires together and do a little modifications to the base. So let's take a look. Okay, here we are back in the uh, ship world. Here's the stand. The putties are all set and dry. Yeah, that dried nice and hard. And I did a, a little bit of a spot putty up top there. But it was hard to get them in those little slots and then those round things are from underneath so that's not a big deal so we'll sand that and then i'm going to just run a pole in the center and then we'll run our wires up that way or run them down and meet them here and solder them together i could probably get a little switch i'm going to clean up all this edging too i could probably get a little switch maybe somewhere but these are angled so i don't know if i want to have a switch but I think I'm just going to leave it in as like a, a plug-in, like use one of these that I got with pre-tails, 2.5 or 2.1 millimeter uh, hole, and then I'll just notch a little spot out and have it come out the back. And that's good enough for me for that. Um, what we're going to do, I'll put you over here, let's stuff out of the way, is we're going to, hopefully iron, my soldering iron's warming up, but we're going to start getting this spaghetti mess uh, figured out here. And the first things we got to do is put some, uh, just to make life easier, solder on some uh, little ends from the resistors. What did I cut resistors off of? Oh, for I think now these have their own. I don't remember, but from some component I cut a little resistors off for for something. Oh, probably for these guys. Yeah. And I always save the little resistor metal ends that you, you know because you can on these little ones you can just solder them. On. It's basically what they did on the side that has the resistor. They soldered a resistor on and just left this end out and it gives you something, a soft metal to, instead of this tiny little wire that they give you here. And always, like I said, always look for that shiny, that shiny solder. That means you got a good, not a cold solder joint. And give them a tug and that's good. And there you go, and then you just got this little metal end on here. You could shrink to it, but I These I already have twisted together just because I wanted to get them out of the way. I probably should tin them so they don't come unhooked on me. And also the Clint, uh, the tinning of them will get the paint that I did get, a little bit of paint I did get on the bare wire. I mean, I could strip them and start over. But it's not that crucial. There we go. I don't think I have to be overly crucial about what happens in here as far as the wiring. I was going to do like all this taping and stuff. I don't even think I'm going to do that. There's plenty of room in here for this stuff to float. So what we'll do is we'll take these two positives. And I might do a little bit of taping down or something. I don't, know. I don't think I have to though. I'll take these two. Give them a twist. Solder 
and we're soldering big right now. And we'll trim everything down. There's a big blob of solder there. There we go. And then we'll do the same with our negatives. Oh, you're way under there. We'll take these two and we'll do the same. We'll just twist them together. We can get one separate. There we go. Ain't much to grab on there. Alright. Bring these down. that soldered. It's not the prettiest, but it, it'll work for what it is. What I'm afraid of is I just unhooked. <laughs> I got down into the... Yeah, oh, that was still hot. Yep, I did. Then I, yep, I unhooked one of these. Simple fix, but just a point. <laughs> so they're all together. And I could hook them to my DC power supply, but that just take too long. So we can do a quick. Actually, we're gonna have to turn off the lights so we can see the things are working. I see lights in there, I see those flashing, and I see those flickering. I don't know if you can. It was. Yeah. So, all that's working then. Good to go. So, at least we got that ready for the bottom. Beautiful. I'll make sure everything has slack. It's good enough. These guys are going to go over here when the bottom comes on. And then I just have, I don't have all this extra wire trying to push out the rear end when we place that um, rear end in there. Then I just have to, you know, tuck these one way or another. It doesn't really matter because it's got plenty of room. They'll probably tuck like that. But we got to get the wires through the bottom. All right. Um, I went through and uh, hit these hydraulic parts with some silver too on these flaps. And I think those go, boy, I'm going to assume like this. Flaps, where are they going on? There, we can put together. And they got to go in before you put the base on, so it's got to be the next page. Alright, so the longer parts, these, you know, the notches are on the outside. So, they will look like that. Which I thought so, it goes with the shape of it. And how the other has a flap. So that's, that's that, that's easy. Thing is, is making that line up because I didn't know that had a its thing there. But that's fine. That'll line up just like that, and then we'll hit some putty in there, or just some of that white surface primer. I'm thinking, and then hit it with sandpaper. But yeah, it'll work. And we still have good clearance from the rivet. Yeah. Now wire will come up and hit those two right there. And the, the rear end only goes into those parts, so there's yeah, there's plenty of cavity in there. That's great. So good to GO. So it's getting so close when it gets to these points, it's like, okay, what do we do next? And really it's pretty much running the wire through, soldering it and gluing that. 
That's what she's down to. And then we'll start decaling her. Decaling her, putting a wash on it. They just show them going down in there, but... There's no real rhyme or reason. Yeah, the notch goes to what they're doing. I guess they just... And I guess they have the ability to go back and forth. They do. And maybe they sit back like that. I think they do. That's the whole point. They sit back in there. So I actually have to paint all this white too. Oh, you pay. But we'll do that once we get the bottom on. Yeah, that all has to get painted white. Because, <laughs> uh, once that hits. So, just that edge. Which isn't bad. I'll just run a piece of newspaper across here and then tape across here just to keep that. And I only have to hit this edge. And then we'll get in there, too. So, that's not bad. That's something we'll do off camera, but yeah, she's looking good. But anyway, we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll call this a segment, or a part of one. And we'll come back and we'll actually, it looks like we're going to be putting this in. We'll solder that wire through, which that's simple, and uh, put this bottom on. And then uh, we'll let it sit. Let's see if this is dry. Should have because it was just a that paint dries fast and b it's just missed it on yeah but you can but then as you look you see some of that reflecting metallic part of it you see the shine there from the uh, gun steel that makes it give it a more metallic look to it like yeah you get right on there it's like whoo that's metal but then you see there it looks normal like and I think that'll give it not such a contrast when she's put on the ship. Yeah. And it's not black because I went with a gun steel. So it's not so drastic of a contrast. But from the back and everything, it looks great. Very happy. Oh, it, it totally makes it look mechanical and engine you know that it's like the engine part of the ship totally does but yeah it has the characteristics of the film where it's not just a solid black piece back there beautiful love it all right like i said again i'm rambling so please forgive me um but we'll be back well, I figured I would show you how uh, these step drills work, and uh, I gave this a quick paint, so I got all this nice and white here. Got all this all nice and white now, so. That's good to go. We can put the whole ass end in. Like I said, I just taped across in there. Got enough white in there. I think that once these levers are in there, it's fine. Um, and then I did a satin or a flat clear coat to get these uh, gray acrylic stripes to set down and just put tissue paper in here to keep it. And took the guys out because they're constantly bouncing around and stuff too. Like I got a little dirt there, but I'm not really worried about this. The ship's gonna be really dirty. But this I got all sanded. This little base, this little B2 bomber, or you know, stealth bomber looking thing. Um, these came out really good, sanded those smooth, those are sanded smooth. I put a little notch in there for the wire to come out the back. So I already did that notch. Um, but I figured I was talking about the other day, we saw that episode um, about, you know, how I was drilling this out, and I was drilling it with a regular bit, 
And it also didn't pre-drill too. I should have done. But even still, it can grab. Uh, those spiral drill bits can grab plastic. But I was talking about how step drills with acrylic um, work much better. And I got this inexpensive set. It's supposed to be titanium, you know, tips and stuff like this. But these drill so much better because they shave the plastic. And they're not... They don't get rid of the, the particles by spiraling it upwards this way. It just actually just shaves. And as it's shaving, they, the, the particles just curl anyway. And it's got this big channels on both sides to to get rid of. And then these these flat spots is is the actual diameter that you want. So you you'd pretty much keep going. If you wanted to go to the 7 16 you just keep going until... And then here's where it changes and then uh, until it fits in that hole. So we're going to do, um, we need a quarter inch. So we need to this second one. And it's nice, it gave me three bits. This one goes from a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch. This one goes from an eighth to a half inch and goes in much, much smaller spots. It goes, you know, one eighth, five, 30 seconds, 3 sixteenths, 7 30 seconds, 1 quarter. So this gives you a lot of the 30 seconds. This one here pretty much jumps into the big ones. 3 sixteenths, quarter, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths, 7 sixteenths, 1 half. It jumps into the big, and this is kind of in between. You got quarter, it's pretty much starting there. But then it's half inches there. So we'll go with this one since this is the quarter inch or you know I might start with a small one because it'll drill me a couple little uh, umps before I get to it which might be better than jumping right from this to this. You know what? We'll, we're going to try it. We're going to try where we go from 3 sixteenths right to a, a quarter. Let's see if it'll do it. I don't know this old plastic. Let's see. So you just chuck them in your drill just like a normal drill bit but they're so much nicer they're great if you already have a hole size and you need to go up they're great for that as well I guess the best way I can see that center and I'm going to go right in the center there's where the two stand points are and that used to be right there on those but what I'm going off of is that uh, mold release pu pu push points so where the pins push these out. That That's pretty much in the center of these two spots. But probably is about center of that where I want everything to line up. So if I kind of go off of that. And this is a very brittle plastic. So I already heard it try to crack. So we're going to go with the smaller steps because I can see it's going to be brittle and it's going to want to, instead of drill nice, it's going to want to pop, pop, pop. So we're going up to there. And it looks like that quarter is so much smaller than that quarter, but it's not. It's just the, it doesn't have as much of a ridge. This is where we start smaller. But it's going, once I started, and I don't need to use that pressure down to drill through it, it's going to the next. And you feel it pop. And then you can pull out. But see how much better, even with that brittle, That real brittle plastic. Like if I was to use a regular drill, that would have been destroyed. Now there's one way to find out if the pipe's going to go through. Oh, like a glove. Nice and tight. That's what I want. 
Oh yeah. I might even have to give it a little ream job because of because of the plastic heat and I've been curling. But I'm thinking I'll bring it down like that and I'll just cut a notch. There, so the wires can come out and then get soldered underneath here. All nice and tight. Just have wires come down and just meet right there. And then that's that. And that will sit like that. And I just got to thread. I'll clean this end up and then thread it. But that'll work great. It's a great height. It'll be a hair lower because it's going to thread in, you know, almost a half inch. That works great. We'll crazy glue it in there and then I'll probably take some like, it's almost like I want to take some putty and put it around to give structure. Because once that putty gets dried on there, it really, does, and then glue it. And I think that's what I'll do. I don't even have to add baking soda because baking soda it works as a kicker as well with the CA glue. But hey, that worked great. That was these were like six bucks for the three, you know. And it came in this you know little carrying bag. It's not nothing special, but still, at least it keeps them all together. All right, so now I can go and paint this. up here a little bit I like to keep my area it's my OCD I guess um, but I did hear a couple cracks I see them so I'm going to hit them with some thin extra thin CA glue just to make sure you can actually even hit the hole with it a little bit a little melt down the burrs I pretty much scuffed the whole plastic to give it a good tooth for the paint and then that's going to get hit with the pearl white that I had left over from the Enterprise refit but I figured I'd show you that real quick um, and when we, like I said, when we come back, we'll, I like to get all this ready when we'll come back. When I see you again, we will run a wire through here to glue to those other wires for our feeder wire to go down this. And, uh, but we can leave, leave it, let it hang and we don't have to put on this right away. But that's going to be great. That's going to be great. I'm really happy with that. Especially a simple little stand there I had. It wasn't ugly. Uh, the X-Wing comes with this weird explosion thing, which I might not use. I might use just the base. Yeah, I'm just going to hit this and let this dry. And we'll be back for our next stage, which will be getting this bottom together, which means, again, we have to run a wire through here and solder it, and we can glue and clamp that. And these go will go on, and these and that's got to go on, and this will be put on as well, so... And then she'll be completely together. We just we just got to work on a stand, and I have a little sign here that we'll make up. And we'll use. I think it's pretty neat if we use as much as we can from it, since it's old school. You know, I could always get a bigger or different version of this, newer version. I think they released a new version. I'm not even sure. MPC, I think, or uh, no, this is MPC. Uh, Ravel might have, or maybe they do have a new version of this from NPC. But, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.